Posture checks is an advanced feature that adds contextual access control to your network. This means you can go beyond static identity checks like SSO and MFA and include more dynamic checks. For example, you could evaluate a device's security posture, such as its operating system and version, the version of the NetBird client installed, and the presence of specific processes or files. You could also consider contextual factors like the country and region of the device trying to access a resource, or even if it's on a specific network range like the office network. And all of this helps to further reduce the attack surface of the network. So let's see how to enable those posture checks in NetBird. In my last video, I set up an access control policy between a group of developers and a group of servers, enabling the developers to access the servers. So now the developers log in with SSO and MFA using their identity provider, therefore identifying themselves. And this represents a static identity check. Now I want to extend the static check with some context around the developers to, again, reduce the attack surface in case identity has been stolen. And I want to allow only developers that are within specific countries to access the servers and those who have the latest NetBird client version installed. And additionally, I want to prevent these developers from accessing the servers via mobile devices. To do so, I click on Add Posture Checks, and I could browse from existing checks, but they're not in place, so I'll create a new one. And first, I will specify that only devices with the latest NetBird client version are able to access the resources. In my case, that's 27.10. This can help me manage and ensure that the agent is up to date with all the new security patches and new features. I do have developers located in Germany and in Spain. Now I've added these two countries and any other country will automatically be excluded. And this helps um, in case the identity has been stolen and the intruder then succeeded with the MFA challenge. And if the intruder then is in another country, they will no longer be able to access the servers. Finally, I will also block iOS and Android from accessing my, net, my servers. And I can also specify the version of the operating system that the device must run at least for Linux, Windows, and Mac. For example, I could say that the version has to be equal or greater than a specific Windows version. I will name this posture check developers to servers posture check and save it. So now I've added one posture check to the access control policies devs to servers and this posture check will only be applied to this specific policy and not, not to the network as a whole. But you can add multiple posture checks as required. And in the posture checks tab you can see all the current posture checks in place, and you can also see what is being assessed for each device attempting to access the servers. To delete a posture check, you can do this from this tab if there are no dependencies, but in that case, this posture check is part of a policy. So you'd have to go back to the policies tab, then select the posture check, and then you can choose to either modify it so it's meeting your access requirements or to remove it completely. And now if you head back to the posture check, you will see the check is still listed, but inactive. And again, now you can decide whether you want to reuse it or modify it or delete it completely based on your needs.